Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because we are doing an Abercrombie try on haul. I have not done an Abercrombie haul here on my channel in so long and I've got some really cute pieces to show you guys. If you are new to my channel, I'm actually 31 weeks pregnant, almost 32 weeks. And so I am bumping these days, but I wanted to show you guys some cute maternity jeans, some bump friendly dresses. Some pieces are not actually maternity. I'd say most of these pieces are not maternity pieces. So if you aren't pregnant, but you happen to be watching this video, a lot of these pieces are for non-maternity. So you can definitely still check them out. I'll have everything linked in a blog post that you can find pinned in the comments and also in the description box. I'll include sizes there and just my opinion on fit and everything in that blog post. But we're gonna go ahead and jump on in. I to start off with this first outfit so i've got on these new jeans from abercrombie these are maternity jeans they're the iconic 90s straight jean and they are some of my favorite maternity jeans i love the fit of the abercrombie maternity jeans they're just so chic these ones are a very similar fit in the legs as just the regular 90 straight jean which i wore a ton prior to becoming pregnant but i love that they have an option for maternity so i got these in a 25 short i definitely would recommend sizing up if you're between sizes with their maternity jeans just because they are an overbelly style so there's no button or zipper so you have to like get them up over your hips but once they're on they're super super comfy i also love the fact that they come in short so i am five foot two and i find that these are really 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 great length on me they're more of like a trendy style so they're a little bit longer if you want to wear them with like a white sneaker they're going to cover a little bit of your sneaker but i really love the look of a 90 straight jean with a heeled boot yes i am in my third trimester and i'm still wearing heels and heeled boots consistently i do not want to give up my heels until i'm in the point where it's super uncomfortable but as of right now i haven't been too uncomfortable wearing heels or heel booties still but i've got them on with these croc boots from everlane and these are so chic i feel like they look so good with dresses or with denim or with trousers they're just a very versatile shoe and so i've been really really liking these and then for my top i've got on this sheer button up from abercrombie as well i just went ahead and sized up in this to a medium so like i said i'll include all my sizes in the blog post but i definitely sized up in this because i wanted it to be a little bit more slouchy and i really like the way that it fits it looks really great open as well i've got it on over a tank from a brand called embrace and this is actually a maternity tank that you can wear post-pregnancy but it's a longer tank and i feel like it works really well underneath something sheer like this just because the actual belly of these jeans is a navy blue so if you wore a sheer top over it you'd see through it so I like to have something that's very similar to my skin tone kind of underneath, but I really like the way that this shirt lays and just looks with a light pair of denim. I feel like these jeans are so good for like spring and summer. I love a light wash denim. And so I'm not giving birth until April. So definitely gonna be wearing these February and March. For my bag, I've got on the Madewell buckle bucket tote. And I just love the way that the black pairs with the black boots. Very chic, a very classic outfit but I feel very put together and still very comfy. This is the other pair of maternity jeans that I got. These are the ankle straight jean, but in maternity. So these ones are a little bit shorter than the 90s straight jean, but they still have the straight leg. I really like the ankle straight jean for sneakers and sandals. Anything that doesn't have a heel, I feel like these hit in a really, really good place. So on me, they hit right at the ankles, which is in the name of the jean ankle straight, but they're super flattering on on same straight leg style but shorter and I love these ones because they have the double rip knee so they're perfect for spring and summer and I feel like the rips and the knees make them feel less maternity so very stylish they honestly look like they wouldn't be maternity jeans except for the fact that they are an overbelly style so they go over the belly just like the other pair I've got that same nude embrace tank on and then this is actually a sweater from Walmart that I sized up in 
and it's just super easy to throw on and comfy. And then for my shoes, I have on a pair of sneakers from Cezanne and my Cezanne crossbody bag. But this is the other pair, so you can see the two different lengths. The other ones were a little bit longer. They work great with heeled boots, or if you just like the look of a longer jean, it's a little bit more trendy. The 90s straight jean is for you, and then if you like something that's like a little bit shorter, the ankle straight is a really good option as well. Next up, I've got on this gorgeous knit dress. So this one is a, I think it's a midi style. I can't remember if I got this in a short or regular length, so I'll have that in the blog post, but it's this high neckline dress and it's just so stunning. It's the thickest knit too, so it's super, super good quality. It just feels amazing. I love the slit in the side. I just, I feel like it's just so elegant and the black is stunning. It also comes in, I think like a nude color, but I just think the black is, it can't lose. It's so classic. I love the neckline on it. It actually works pretty well with a normal bra, but you could also just wear Siggy boobs with it. And I think you would be fine because it is such a thick rib knit. Over it, I've got on this incredible long cardigan. I am gonna be living in this at home. I feel like this would be so great with a pair of leggings and a tank, but also it works really well over dresses during the transitional season. And then for my bag, I've got on my Madewell chain crossbody bag, which I love this bag because it feels a little bit more dressy. And then I've got on some kitten heels that are also from Madewell. And I just love this look so much. I feel like it's so chic, but it's so comfy. The kitten heels and the stretchy, comfy dress and long cardigan. It feels like you're wearing pajamas. Like it is so, so comfy, these two pieces. Next up is this dress and Abercrombie's dresses. And like this specific style, I feel like they have so many different versions of. And I wore something very similar in a previous video showing you guys some different baby shower dress options. And I feel like this one is right up there with the other ones. It is so, so good. It's stunning. It comes in a few different prints, but this one is just very elegant. I love the sheer sleeves on it. It is a little bit of a midi length, so it's not too short, not too long. It looks really good with a pair of heels. I've got on these Everlane heels and I love a white heel for spring and summer. But this dress is so stunning and you can wear it with sticky boobs and it's just very, very comfy. It's smocked in the back so it's stretchy and it just fits everywhere perfectly, especially if you do have a bump. I feel like it just shows off the bump really, really nicely. It has so much good movement, so much good fabric. And the best part is that it's actually not a maternity dress. So if you wanted to get this and then wear it post-pregnancy, you can definitely get more use out of it. Or if you're not pregnant and you just want a really beautiful flowy dress, this one is so stunning. It would be so great for like a bridal shower or a baby shower. And I just feel like it's so, so gorgeous. Next up is this linen style dress. I don't think it actually is linen because it is a little bit of like a scratchy material. So if you have sensitive skin to fabrics, would definitely pass on this one. I noticed it's very like scratchy around my stomach where I've been a little bit more sensitive from like the stretching, but it's so cute. If you don't have sensitive skin, this is adorable. And I love the classic fit of the button down. It's a really good length. I think it also comes in black, but I really liked this oatmeal color. I'm definitely gonna hold on to it and see if it works with my skin after like post-pregnancy when my skin is no longer as sensitive as it's been, but I really, really like it. I think this would be so cute with a white sneaker as well, but I've got it on with my woven knee solo mules and this little beach tote that's also from Abercrombie. I love the black bag. I feel like this is such a chic look, a kind of oat linen and then a black shawl bag. Very, very cute. Next up is this skirt and this may be my favorite piece from this haul. I am obsessed with this skirt. It is so, so gorgeous. It's really, really thick material. So perfect for kind of late winter, early spring. It is so, so pretty and happy though. There's so much beautiful color and I love the pattern. It's just so comfortable too. I've got it really, really high up over my bump, but you could wear it obviously 
at your waist. This is not a maternity piece, which is amazing because I'm definitely gonna wear it post-pregnancy, but I just, I love the pattern of it so much. It's so happy, it's so comfy. So it just stretches and it just, works so perfect with the bump. I feel like this would be so cute with my Cezanne sneakers, but I've got it on with the Everlane white heels again. I feel like these are so, so versatile. And I love these shoes because they are really, really comfy. The leather on these shoes are just like super, super buttery soft. And so they're like the perfect comfort heel. And then I've got on that same Walmart sweater that I just tucked into the skirt. I love the way that it looks with the skirt as well. And then my Madewell Crescent bag, but I'm just like so in love with this skirt. I wanna see if they have it in another pattern. I don't remember, but I'm like, can I get multiples? of this because this is so cute and so comfy. Next up is this knit tank dress and I love the way this one fits. It is a beautiful taupe color. I think it also comes in black and maybe another color, but I really love the taupe. It has a slit down the side, which I really, really like. I feel like this would be so cute with a black sandal. I love it with the sheer button down over it gives it a more casual kind of like beachy vibe. And then for my shoes, I've got on the same Everlane heels, like I said, so versatile, a white shoe goes with literally everything, but this dress is so flattering. I just sized up in it one size and it works so well with the bump, but those are all the pieces for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Abercrombie haul. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite look was from this video. Like I said, everything will be linked in the blog post that you can find pinned in the comments and also in the description box if you're interested in any of the pieces. I'll have that information there along with sizing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't been new here on my channel and you want to stick around for some more try-on hauls, more styling content, more maternity outfits, soon to be postpartum outfits, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you back on my channel and I will see you guys in my next one really, really soon. Bye guys. Bye.